constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Three buildings were unveiled in Paul Pitagama at the Rajas Singha Primary School, the Divisional Secretariat and the National School under the patronage of Prime Minister Ronald Vikramasinghe today. We signed the International Convention for the Protection of All Persons from Enforced Disappearances in December 2015. We have presented the draft to the Parliament for it to be enforced as law. Under its first clause, it will come into effect from the date the Speaker of Parliament signs it. It will not be enforced on a date before it. No one can take any step against enforced disappearances prior to October or November of 2017. If an incident of enforced disappearance takes place in the future, they can request government to take action against it. We don't need to take legal action against those who are engaged in the war or go to international courts. We can resolve any issue in Sri Lanka with the country's law. That promise given and by the president will not be breached by any of us. In the meantime, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe emphasizes the importance of concentrating on an industrial economy above an agricultural economy. He was addressing the 40th anniversary of the Sri Lanka Board of Investments last evening. For the first time in Sri Lanka's history, there is a government which consists of two main parties. Therefore, the basic measures and principles adopted by this government won't be changed. They should be implemented. More investors will come to Sri Lanka. We have the Board of Investment and the Tourism Board. Since the local investors alone didn't have capital for the projects we launched, we invited both local and international investors. I think industries can reach everywhere. The primary aim of encouraging new businesses, the tourism industry, information technology, as well as making Sri Lanka the hub of the Indian Ocean for maritime movements, developing financial and banking services, is to increase jobs and good income. We have a good future and we should continue walking on this path without any fear. We now have the opportunity to reach global markets including Europe, China and Singapore. We should concentrate on an industrial economy rather than one based on the plantation sector.